Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to create a new page, link that page, and then copy it to another user area, which is really, a, there's a lot to learn here. So let's kind of take it in three steps. The first thing is how do you create a new page? And the easiest way is just do it within, you know, I'll, I'll give you the example. Let's say when I go to the names, I want this key to take me to my church friends. So this is how you would do it. You see the spot where you wanna make the page, the new page, uh, take the button to the church friends so I can see that spot. I hit menu, I hit edit page, I touch that location and I say create a new button. So I don't really want a message here, I just want a label. And my label would be, I'm just gonna put church in there and I'm gonna do it all caps, so I gotta make sure my caps lock is on because I want it to say, I want the all caps to tell me that it's going to go to my church friends. All caps means it's not going to talk, it's going to, going to say it. Now, I could take out the speak message. You really wouldn't have to do that, but I'm going to take it out anyway, because we do not want a message. Now, you could pick a picture of your church. If you wanted to, you could pick a picture, something that represents church to you. Now, you'd scroll down. I always swipe this speak message to make sure it doesn't talk. So I swipe it to delete it. And then I say add. And of course, what I want to add is a page that it visits. So I scroll down to where it says visit. There I find visit. And here's all the pages that already exist. And I could visit any of these pages, but they are, they're already used. So what I do instead is I hit this little plus sign to create a new page. And I'm going to call this one church my church friends. Doesn't matter about capitalizations here because no one sees this. And then you don't have to really worry about the rest of these, but just leave all those are fine. And then just say save. So now that key is going to take me, so I just hit save now. So you see it pop up. Now I say done. So what's nice now is when I hit this, I now go to church and this is where I'll store all my church friends. So now I go in and I edit this page and I add some church friend. Create a new button. I'll make this Doug. Yeah, you might as well make that, might as well be proper, make the button label D, the capital D. Good, then I go down here and I don't have to I'm going to just go ahead and picture, select an image. I'll say that I don't like those dogs, but I'll go in here and say, man, this is my friend Doug from church. And I hit save. Okay, so I you do all your friends now. So now I have a way to save my church friends names. I hit here, I go to here, and up comes Doug. Doug. So that really wasn't that hard. You can see, uh, again, you watch it a couple more times, you need to watch it a few times, but I added a new page and it temporarily goes there. But sometimes you've made a whole bunch of these pages for a kid and you have another kid who maybe wants that has those same church friends or, or you wanna copy it to, uh, to another kid's device. Now what you have to do first is you have to copy the vocabulary, the entire file. You can't just give one page to someone else. So I can't just import or send that one page to another person. But what I can do is copy the whole file and send it to somebody. And once they have that file, then they actually can copy from one user area to another. So let's just skip how to, how to email a file for right now. Let's just copy a file. So I'm gonna copy a new file, LAMP Words for Life Full. I'm gonna call this copy just so I know which one it is. All right, so here's my copy. I go down here, I go to copy. Now what you'll notice if I hit, if I hit mine, and I go, there's no church here. So instead of rebuilding, the, instead of having to do everything I just did and store all the names in again, I wanna go grab that church file and bring it over to this one. So here's how you do it. You st you're in the file that you wanna import it to, and you hit menu, and you hit edit. And then you hit menu again. And this gives you the ability to import or copy a page. 
So right there. So you import copy a page, and you say import another page. And it says, where do you want to copy it from? And I did it in the HHH one. So in this file, you'll see I could copy any one of these pages, but the one I'm looking for is the one that says church. So there it is, right there, church. That's the one I put in there. So I say import. Now I touch, after I check it, I touch import. And I say import it into this area, and I say done. Now what might be confusing is you'd automatically think now that when you hit friends, it would show up. But it doesn't. You have to tell it to be there. But, you, but if you had stored 20 names or 30 names or speeches or whatever, it, it's there. We just now have to link it again. So now I hit here. I hit menu, edit page, touch the blank spot. Create a new button. You don't have to, you, you, you don't really have to, well, let me think if you have to do any of this. Yeah, you're probably going to have to put the label in there at church. And it needs to be all caps again. Oops, you got to hit this twice to make it stay on caps. And you really don't have to worry about the message, but I'm, for some reason, I'll have to take it out of there. Scroll down. Minimize that. Swipe delete this because you want it to speak. Hit add. You want it to visit. So you're going down here to where it says visit. And you're saying visit. And of course you're visiting church. The one you imported. And it wouldn't have been here if you hadn't copied it in. So now when I get down here to the C's, sure enough, there's my church. So I can hit save now. Now if I, what I didn't do there is what I should have done earlier is I didn't pick a picture for the church, but no big deal. We'll go in there and do that. Put the church there. Hit save. All right, so now when I go in here and I hit the names and I hit church, look who shows up, Doug. Doug. Even though I didn't store that, because what I did is I copied uh, the page from one file to another. So if I have a page in another area, when you hit your choose area, if I, if I have a page in one of these other ones, I can copy from one to the other using these instructions. I hope that helps.